Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because today is part three of making Johnny Five's knife. This is a collaboration with NYC CNC. Be sure to check out their YouTube channel at the end of this video. This knife is going on a Johnny Five replica. Johnny Five is the main character in the movie Short Circuit 1 and 2. It's a story about an adorable little robot that becomes quite human-like. They're making a replica of Johnny Five, and we're making Johnny Five a Damascus steel knife. I'm gonna interrupt us to quickly thank today's sponsor, which is Audible, the audiobook listening platform that I absolutely love. At the end of the episode, please go to audible.com forward slash forge or text forge to 500 500 to get yourself one free audio book, two free audible originals from a curated list, and a free trial. Thank you Audible for sponsoring the video. Let's jump in. So I was about to tell you that my plan was to go and use the surface grinding attachment and surface grind this thing. Are you using the surface grinding attachment? I'm pleased he likes it. It throws a little bit of a pickle in the work though, because I need the surface grinding attachment. Are you done with it? Check out this surface finish. Oh my gosh. 120 grit straight to a 400 grit. So nice. We've got our edge scribed in. It's bevel grinding time. We are out of the grinding room. There are some problem areas that we need to address, but I need to do the final quality control and cleaning up of our hammers from Ethan Harty before we give them a heavy coat of oil, wrap them up in rust inhibiting paper, and get them ready to ship out. So I'm gonna do some of that, and then we're gonna talk about how we fix this problem. And so we're back, and here is the problem area. It's our plunge lines, they're really not all that great. They're a little funky, but that's okay. It's to be expected, because I was freehanding all this stuff in, and we have a tool built just for fixing this type of problem, and that is a file guide. This has carbide faces on it, and it means that as we grind up to the carbide, all the way around, all those plunge lines will become nice and symmetrical. It is important to me that the file guide is square, it's gonna help make everything look good. I've got a square, I'm lining it up on that fuller that we milled, and we'll tighten it up and we're good to go. I'm gonna get this set up with the contact wheel again, and all I really wanna try and do, is just bump up against the side of the belt with the belt hanging slightly off the wheel. Just like that. And that trizec belt eats it up. And then you use the tracking wheel to bring the belt over. Then it's the same drill on this side. Feel my hollow, bump up the edge. And the cool thing is, is that you can further refine those plunge lines by hand sanding with the file guide still on. You can see it's already a vast improvement. We'll take a little bit of rhino wet sandpaper. It's the best stuff. And we'll soon have some available. Alright, 
we made some good progress on the hand sanding. I have one fuller started to get hand sanded pretty well, but the other one is just filled with scale. In my normal fashion, I left it in the oven too long for a normalizing cycle. So I'm gonna run upstairs and uh, see if using our micromotor and some more rubberized abrasives a little more diligently with a little more time and effort, um, we'll get that scale out so that we can hand sand it all up. I don't have a chair up here anymore. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so here's what I want to do right now. Before I finish off this tang area, I want to draw back the temper on it. I want to make it nice and soft in case the chaps over at NYC CNC decide they want a machine on it. I know I'll have to do a little bit of uh, grinding and filing anyway. Maybe they need to drill a hole. Who knows? But we're going to give it to them soft. It is now etching time! Woo! Oh damn, that's a nice pattern. While that is etching, I wanna show you something pretty cool in the grinding room. So we just received these glorious aluminium. Aluminium. Excuse me, what? We're gonna screw these beautiful aluminium plaques to the grinder. I got a little adhesive backing so I can easily position it. Oh yes! Pop some holes in it. So check this out. We can go ahead and take some rivets. And this beauty rivet goes in this. This goes on the part. And... <laughs> Woohoo! So not only do we now have these beautiful aluminium plaques for the top of the machine, we have these beautiful... What kind of plaque? Aluminium. We also have these incredible safety plaques. We got some big old stacks of these tags to be put on all of the machines. There's lots of work to be done. But I'm just so excited with how good aluminium machine tags look. The colors are so vibrant. Wait, are you making up new metals now? <laughs> you don't want to etch the whole thing? No! I didn't put it in the whole way. So I have messed up. The pattern is incredible. It doesn't mean anything if the pattern doesn't go the whole way up the blade. Very difficult for that to blend well, so I have to scrub on it now. Which is a shame, but hopefully it'll blend in the two once we do our final etching. Attempt number two. Okay, now it's in there. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Okay, into the baking soda. Now into the water. So we're gonna get to sharpening this and I'm gonna hand it over to Will. Cause he's gonna do a way better job sharpening it than I am. That thing is complex, it was difficult enough to grind. Good luck sharpening it. Thank you, I'm just gonna run a belt along the whole thing. Okay, when he's done with that, I'm gonna put it in a box and get it on its way to John Saunders and Ed of NYC CNC, who we're doing the collaboration with. It's been a ton of fun building this little dagger here. I'm very excited to see it on the replica Johnny Five robot that John Saunders and Ed of NYC CNC are building. Please guys, be sure to go check out their channel, see what they're doing. I'm thrilled to have been a part of it. I hope you guys also check out the film Short Circuit. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a great classic. We're gonna thank our sponsor and I will see and see you later. As we end the video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which has been Audible. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks in the world and it has a phenomenal way to consume 
stream them. You can listen to audiobooks on the go from your iPhone, your Android phone. You can even listen to them straight from your computer. When you have an Audible membership, you get to choose three titles every month. You can choose two Audible originals and one audiobook. I love Audible because I get to listen to books that help make me a better person and a better businessman and a better leader and even a better dog owner. The audiobook I'm listening to now is called Delivering Happiness. It's the Zappos story. I recently finished listening to a couple of audiobooks about dog training because I've got a dog, which is awesome. So I listened to Team Dog by Mike Ritland, great book, as well as listening to Zach George's Dog Training Revolution. So go absorb some great information or listen to a great story by going to audible.com forward slash Forge or texting Forge to 500 500 where you can get yourself a free trial of Audible which includes two free Audible originals from a curated list and one free audiobook to listen to. Thank you Audible for sponsoring the video. Thank you so much to John Saunders of uh, NYC, CNC for doing this great collaboration. I can't wait to get the knife to you. Be sure guys to go check out his channel to see the Johnny Five build. It's been a pleasure as always. Bye bye.